connecting. So the purpose of, of this group and we're meeting is to connect more, connect the diaspora in, in some more beautiful ways. So uh, as being African-American is, uh, <laughs> I feel like the, being an African-American, you must have awareness of Africa, you know, countries there, people there, policies there, and to be a bridge between our peoples coming to the Americas and going back to or going forward to the continent and being able to be responsible for those relationships. So I have people coming coming from here to South Africa. So I ask me, oh, you should be able to talk to you know someone in your camp, uh, Mr. Chapepe, uh, or go to the Sarah uh, in Kenya, or uh, some of our friends that we have in Rwanda, and be able to build that bridge and camaraderie here, and being able to also connect a lingua franca to that, that uh, a language. So we're learning Swahili. Sarah, Malimu Sarah is uh, our lead teacher here. And we're working on creating a, a platform for polyglots so we can be able to communicate better, do business together, and also lead you and, and build uh, a solid community. So we're starting that here. This is our first year doing it, and we're trying to bring as many people um, as possible together so we can start the, this inner communication amongst our people so we can bring awareness to the connectivity we need to do, to have in order to move forward successfully as a people. Uh, maybe we can start with Rene. I think uh, I've had Antala before, but uh, he will also introduce himself because he's such a papa. He's new. So Rene, you can go ahead. Okay. All right. Uh, my name is Rene. Uh, I am originally from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I was a nurse for 24 years and recently retired from nursing. But you never really retire. <laughs> um <laughs> Right, you never really retire. So now I just do private patients that want to, uh, you know, have surgeries and stuff, special care, mostly women's health. Uh, yeah, and I'm actually, uh, this is my first time on the line. So I'm excited to to be here and learn. Have you, have you ever had uh, any Swahili, you know, you know, when I was younger uh, in Columbus, we had a we had a pretty large population of people that spoke Swahili, mm -hmm. um, uh, and even uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yeah, I, I grew up around, but I I never really learned the language or any parts of the language. There's a lot of the okay. music that I listen to that that has you know the the language, but I haven't crossed that that barrier of of learning. Awesome. Uh, in Ohio, people speak Swahili. Like I'm so happy to hear that. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. There's a very there's a lot of there's a lot of uh um African culture in Columbus, Ohio. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So that that yeah. You have to know that. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thank you. And you're going to learn with us today. Yes. <laughs> At least you are you you are lucky you have you have met our special guest today with such a lovely to introduce himself after. <laughs> yes. Yes, Mr. Yes. Dantale, you can go ahead. Yes, I'm Dantala. Um I've been part of the class for several weeks. I'm here in here to uh uh sharpen my Swahili um language skills. Um, yeah, and also, uh, what Curtis was talking about the interconnecting of the diaspora. Um, uh, I like to say sw Swambano to our guests, Swambano to our guests. Um, um, and welcome to you, Karibu, to you, Renee. I'm glad that you could join us and as, as we keep growing. So, uh, it's, it's, it's exciting as we keep adding more people to the group um to make those that that international connection um so um yeah as we continue to chart on our path um let's do it all right peace all right thank you so much Dantala. mr chocolate the floor is yours at least you've gotten to know us but for the sake of our guests i can introduce myself so renee um sarah gisheru and I'm from Kenya, and I have been uh, with Katia's for, I think this might be our, you know, after this year, next year will be our third year 
uh, working together and I taught him Swahili and I'm proud of the progress he made. And uh, we have had several guests from uh, different parts of the can of Africa, not even country. <laughs> so I met Mr. Chupape. So mostly the guests we had were from East Africa and Central Africa. We didn't have anyone from West Africa. But luckily there's uh, a class I had uh, for leaders. We are both, uh, we are, we are, we are in uh, teaching. I am Mr. Chapave. <laughs> so we met and uh, we had fun teaching. And he's a very good facilitator too. I think he maybe may tell you about that. And, you know, it's all about making connection. And then I thought, why not like bring him here? And, you know, he'll be our connection from West Africa. And as Katia was saying, we want to have, like, if I'm going to South Africa, I know I have Mr. Chapape there who, you know, is my connection to that world or to that country. And um, as we go forward, I'm hoping to make more connections and uh, learn more languages. So Swahili is one of the languages we are learning now, but we will be introducing other languages and, uh, you know, at least see if you want to learn any language, you'll be our first stop uh, here. I've always loved South Africa by the way, Mr. Shepard. Maybe you don't know. You know, the way in most of your movies, you're very, you know, you don't lose your language. You have to hear the language there. So, like, that's something I, I am proud of. I'm like, I wish this would happen to more of us, like in Kenya, mostly. Maybe even if you have a movie, you will barely know it's from Kenya because I know we have more, a, a lot of uh, native languages, but it's barely, people barely use their language there. So... I'm happy you are here and uh, we are happy to talk, you know, and, uh, and learn more from you. So you're welcome and you can introduce yourself. Yeah, thanks, thanks very much. Thanks very much and uh, evening everyone. Uh, and let me, let me thank Sarah for connecting me with the world. And maybe brief about Sarah uh, the person you are interacting with. I attended with him a school leaders program where he was a top learner in our class. And I was, you know, inspired by her leadership. And that's why they, they requested us to be part of the Global Leaders Forum, which is running. I'm the coordinator and she's my uh, DBT coordinator. So in short, I just wanted to thank her for connecting me. It's very important. We need to connect. Let me maybe start with, you know, language. Why language is important to everyone. Language is very important. I think I'm, I'm also willing to learn uh, Swahili. I, I'm, I'm willing to learn and to know all the languages. But I'm in South Africa. We have got 11 official languages. 11 official languages. I am not including sign language. I think that one becomes international for the deaf. Now, we have got Africans, which was used during those times before democracy. Now it's still here, but at school, you, you opt to do it. But in the past, you were supposed to do it. We have got English, which is an international language. I know many people, when they talk about English, they will even talk about quoting people like Shakespeare. For you to say, I know English, they will want you to quote Shakespeare. My, 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 my favorite poet is Maya Angel from Africa. I love her very much. I love her writing. And uh, you are Chinua Achebes and the others. Now, we have got Isin Debele. Now, you can see these are ethnic groups, and a particular ethnic group will have its own language. Now, that is the third one. The fourth one is Isi Koza. For Kozas, they are found mostly in an area somewhere in the uh, uh, Eastern Cape. We have got nine provinces in South Africa. Nine provinces. And these languages, you find them, some in a particular province, some in all provinces. Like your Africans, you will get it everywhere. 
because Afrikaner are everywhere. English everywhere. Is in Debele where they are in Debeles. And then is it Kosa where there are Kosas? And then is it Zulu? Mostly when you go to Deben, Deben, it's where is it Zulu is dominating. When you go to Gauteng where there is Jobek, is it Zulu is dominating. And also Mpumalanga. We have got Sepedi. That is my language. I am a baby, but my origins, I am Mirwa. I am a Mirwa. I mean, from a Mirwa, a Mirwa type, you can go to Zimbabwe, you'll find our origins. You can go to Lesotho, Botswana. Everywhere we have got by Mirwa. I'm not sure whether they are there in Kenya. We are yeah. defined as lions. Yeah, we are defined as lions. We are Bavirwa. But here in South Africa, we are about Tokwa nation. We are about Tokwa nation. The language that we speak, we cannot write it in the books. So we write Sepedi, all of us. You will have Kelovedu. You will have uh, many different dialects or ethnic group languages, but that you cannot write in the books. But all these you know, groups, would then write CPD. We have got Sesotho. There is a country called Lesotho. So that language comes from there. We have got, we are next to Botswana. As South Africa, in, inside South Africa, there is Lesotho. That's why we have Sesotho. Next to us, we have got Botswana, where they use Pula. Their currency is Pula. Uh, so we have Sesotho even in South Africa. We have got Seswati. Seswati from we have got a country next to us, Swaziland. So then we have got Seswati. Here in Limpopo, we have got Vavenda, a nation. They speak or they talk Chivenda. Chivenda. The president of South Africa is a Venda person. That's why his mother tongue is Chivenda. And then we have got Shitsonga. Shitsonga is also a language. So they are all 11. My professor, Bishop Emeritus Professor Mwila, would tell us that it is, it is, it's, it's sometimes surprising when blacks are in one room, they communicate with English. They do not use their mother tongue. And when you are dreaming, you dream with your mother tongue. You cannot dream with English and translate your dreams to your mother tongue. So it's important that we are proud of our mother tongue or African languages before we can even talk about other languages like you are, you are, you are, you are, you are there is this language called uh, used in China, uh, ma, manda, Mandarin. Mm, because if yeah. you, yeah, Mandarin, because we need to know these languages because we'll be trading with different countries. Maybe let me go to foods. That in South Africa, we, 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 we say they are our traditional foods. I'm not going to say they are indigenous food. Indigenous will be, I know my indigenous food as, as a MOPD and other indigenous food. And maybe before I go to traditional food, this month in South Africa, it's called a heritage month. We are celebrating it on the 24th next week. It is a holiday. It is a holiday where we celebrate where we come from, where we celebrate it through languages, where we celebrate through food, different dishes, where we celebrate through dances, where we celebrate it through a lot of things, decorations, and so on. We have got a lady who is, who is a painter, a, a, a society lady. He's a painter. He has moved throughout the world. He even got a lot of awards. Now, I think Sarah saw on my status, learners dancing, different types of music, uh, teachers cooking different dishes, and so on. So we are celebrating because we want our kids to know where they come from. They must not, you know, always 
eat food from other people without knowing their own food. Because to my knowledge, food from our, you know, our, our culture are nutritious. Let me give you an example of a watermelon. I think all of us know what is a watermelon. You have got watermelon in, in Kenya, Sarah? Yes. Do you have watermelon? Yeah, I think it's everywhere. It's international watermelon. Yes. Now, in South Africa, the watermelon is something that you eat like a dessert. You must eat your pap and flace first. You eat your pap and flace first, and then you can take the watermelon as a dessert. You can even do a juice from a watermelon. So it serves as a drink. Inside the watermelon, there are some types of seeds. Those seedlings or seeds, we fry them in South Africa. They are very much nutritious. Very much nutritious. If you fry them and then you eat them. In South Africa, in my culture, we don't throw anything. We are told that you don't throw anything. You use, I think in terms of uh, conservation, there is what is called uh, reduce, uh, recycle, and uh, uh, something like that. So everything, we use it. We use it. We even use cow dungs to paint uh, various homes. So you can see our history is very rich. But let me talk about traditional foods in Africa. Number one, we are saying burevors. It's our traditional food in South Africa. Burevors. That's why even the name is bure. You don't have bure where you stay. But here we have got burs, people who are farmers. Now we, we call it burevors or a sausage. Other countries call it sausage or sausages. We call it burevors. We have got biryani. Biryani because we have got Indians in South Africa. We have got biryani. These are spicy rice dish. South Africa is a rainbow nation. We've got everyone here. Even people from Kenya, they are here in South Africa. In numbers, uh, one of my lecturers was from Kenya, was very good in mathematics. We have got Kenyans here who are, you know, in, 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 in the academic area, they are there. They dominate, actually. We have got what is called bani chow. Bani chow, you take a bread, they call it a hollowed out bread filled with curry. They will do a hollow in the bread and they will put curry. It's also a dish for Indians. In Deben, they also even have Deben curry. Also, we are saying malva pudding. It's also our traditional food. It's a sweet dessert. I, know, I don't know its origin, but in South Africa, we have malva pudding and we are saying it's our uh, traditional food. Now, where I come from, our uh, meal, it's pap and fleece. Pap, porridge, maize porridge with meat. We call it pap and fleece. In other countries, you know, rice dominates. In South Africa, it's not rice. It is pap, which is porridge. We have got fat cooks. Fat cooks is fried fried donut like bread. You see, they take a dough, will make a ball like, put it inside a oil, a boiling oil, and that becomes what we call a fat cook. They are very, very nice. I think in terms of food. I, I, I gave you South African food. I did not want to go to, because every, every ethnic group have got their own dishes, their own food that they eat. And I did a bit of research. They are not only nutritious, they are healthy. Because most of them, they have got less fats, they have got uh, they don't have salt and and they are nutritious and they will even we even know when to 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 eat them some you eat them at night some as a breakfast some uh, during the day 
some as snacks. We have got a tree called marula tree or murula tree. A murula tree, it's a big tree found in every province in South Africa. I don't know whether you have this uh, in Kenya, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Murula tree. Do you have I, it? I think I, if it's there, it's not like in many places, but I've heard about some a word like that. Yeah. I've heard somewhere. Yeah. They, they, they even take the fruits and make a beer out of it. They ah, have got, I start it with, got, okay. Yeah, they, they take this. It's a green fruit. It's a tall tree with fruit, small uh, fruits. They can then take these small trees and then they then uh, do a, a murula a, a, a beer. It's, it's, it's sweet when it's still fresh, but when days go by, then it becomes sour. When you drink it, you can talk a lot of things. So, wow, so, so do you know how we call it? We, we call it, I, I, sorry, I call it in my mother tongue, Muratina. We call it Muratina. Muratina. Yeah. Are you still with me? There, there, there was yes, a call yes, coming, um... but I will keep it like. Okay. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. Now, the, that's why I'm saying every 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 village would have uh, its own, you know, dishes. Like the, the watermelon, we make beer using a watermelon. In my language, they call it setropoti. Are you still with me, Sarah? Yes, I'm here. Yes, yes, we can hear Sarah? you. Yes, we can hear you. Thanks very much. Okay. Yeah, we, oh, I think, yeah, it's more or less like that. You were showing the tree. Yes. Something like that. Yeah. Now, yeah. And this picture uh, with, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you are. You see, that is the power of technology. That is the power of technology, Sarah. Thanks very much. Yeah. This tree, this tree has got a beautiful shade. That's why I'm saying in South Africa, we don't throw anything. It is a beautiful shade, a murula tree. We make a, a juice out of it. For kids, they can drink it. But for adults, with time, it, it will make a beer. And there are a lot of things, uh, uh, a lot of things that are... I'm, to, to, to mute a certain call uh, that are made from this fruit like your, your lotions they are made from this tree so there are a lot of things that are made from this tree so our heritage it's having a lot that we can share from one country to the other and uh, I'm not sure whether Sarah I have discussed enough or you want me to go to the traditional dance or cultural festival. I am not sure of the time given to me. It's twenty-five past four here. Oh, you can, you, 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 you sure can go there. ahead briefly. You can go ahead briefly. That's okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now I think basically what I can say, we have got different clothes and music and dances in South Africa. Now, a uh, we, we have got, like in Sotho, there are drums for Sotho people, there are drums for Baven, Vanda, there are drums for Batonga. Our musics differ. And we have got different drums and different instruments and different clothes and even how we dance. Like women, don't dance like me. In women, in Sepedi, we have got, we have got Mapadi. Mapadi is a traditional dance for Pedi women. They have got how they dress. Mapadi, it's the dance, but they wear the hele. The hele is a dress that they wear when they are going to dance Mapadi. Now, you go to Maine. 
they dance, their dance is called dinaka. The dance is dinaka. Then they have a particular way of wearing. In Rasi Kukune, they have their own clothes. In Muleji, they have their own clothes. And everywhere, they all dance to the Naga, but they have different clothes according to their ethnic group. And even, uh, you know, we can say it's a flute. I think all of us, you know, a flute. A, 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 an instrument which makes melody. So the Naga, they, they use this instrument. Everyone will have his own flute or this instrument and it will give you a nice music. The, the dinaka, sometimes we have got a men who are, you know, traditional dance for men in Venda. There will be many, almost 100 of them. And it's a nice music. They will make a nice sound, a nice music. So as I'm saying, dance will go with type of clothing, and then type of uh, even the food that we are eating. Let me also talk about the Afrikaners because they also have their own traditional music. They have their own uh, songs. Also, Tosas will have their own uh, traditional music. And the Zulus, Maskandi genre, I think you might know it. I think we had Lady Smith Black Mampasu they even won, you know, international awards. Lady, Lady Smith, Black Mambazo, they are from uh, South Africa in KwaZulu Natal. We have got Reed Dance, where virgins go and dance at the royal king, at the royal place. Uh, virgins will go there, uh, not wearing, uh, not covering their breasts and they would dance uh, for king to choose a wife. Uh, it's done in Swaziland. It is done in Swaziland. It's also That's done true. in Swaziland. Yes. Even now it happens. I just read it in history long it, ago. But... <laughs> it is, it is still happening. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. You can, you can just go, you can just type a uh, residence, you know, then they will outline what is read, uh, read dance? R E R W E D read dance. Usually, okay. it's it's mostly it's it's supposed to be virgins. We know others can can cheat, but mostly it's virgins. And I think they are saying this is promoting virginity, uh, uh, because there are women there who would be there to check if really these young ladies, young girls, are virgins so that they can be married and the price is very high because they are virgins but also the key will choose the one that he loves if you go to Swaziland the king is having many wives it's not having one the last time I checked it was about he was having about 7 or 8 if I'm not wrong in Swaziland uh, because polygamy is encouraged polygamy is encouraged yeah, it's 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 a nice event, and uh, yeah, I think you 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 can see there they go to a royal place, dancing there. Uh, usually, mm. it's done by KwaZulu Eswatini. Which one? Yeah, KwaZulu. Yeah, KwaZulu Natal. They are doing it. It's rich dance, but I think also in Swaziland because. You see, Swazis and, and 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 Zulus are next to each other in terms of their their, their how they, they do things. Unlike and Pedis and Sotos are next to each other. How we we, we do our things. Uh, we have got cultural festivals or events. I think this one you know it because it's international. The Cape Town International Jazz Festival. People flock to Cape Town for jazz to listen to the jazz maestros. We have got jazz artists. You are Jimmy Dudu, a lot of them, just jazz, jazz, jazz artists. It's a music that uh, they do. There is one event 
which is very popular in South Africa, called the Deben July, happening in KwaZulu Natal in Deben, horse racing event. Here is where you will see fashion. People buy clothes out of this world. You don't just go there with your own ordinary clothes, Sarah. You must buy a dress or an outfit that would make you different from other people. So the, 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 the horse racing event is attended by rich people and politicians. And there they network and so on. It is about horses, but it generates income for the town because all hotels are booked. Very important. We have got Graham's Town National Arts Festival where they showcase different creativity. I've got my brother who is Ketla Chepapi Mahato. If you Google him, Ketla Chepapi, he's an international artist in South Africa. I think now he's even having a master's doing PhD. He has traveled the world and he is even doing talks and lectures. Uh, his work is done at various universities. Those learners who are doing creative arts or arts in universities honors, they read and uh, what he has done. So his, his name is Keta and uh, Chepapi. His name, another name is Chepapi, my say name, but for him is Chepapi. Keta, Chepapi, Mahat. Uh, maybe let me just spell it for you. K H E H L A mm -hmm. Ketla. Ketla K H A A K Ketla Chipa Pimahat is an international artist. He gives talks at various universities. He recently gave talk to University of Limpopo. They were celebrating 65 years. So he was invited. He is my brother. And he is very good uh, in these things. You are talking, Sarah? Yeah, I was Sarah? saying, is he the one? Ah, there he is. Can you? There he is. Yeah, there he is. He is my brother. I am proud of him. He called himself Chepapi the Great. And he is even having his clothing clothing label. They are clothes, they are clothes that people buy from him. They are written Chepapism from Africa. Is the clothes is having a clothing brand and the clothing brand is Chepapism and then I think something written from Africa. That is his clothing brand. You are your jackets, your caps, uh, Chepapi the great. So I'm saying this because at Graham's Town, a Graham Town National Arts Festival, there are dramas that are there. We have got Mahuma Group, which is performing uh, dramas also there. Johannesburg International Film Festival. This is an event in South Africa. We have an international film festival, which means Films, I, I, I love films in Kenya. I'm not sure whether that film about wind, what, what wind is from Kenya, I'm not sure. The film that I love was a, of an old man who was doing great art, I think, from Kenya. Do you know it, Sarah? The oh, film of an yes, old yes, man. Yes, yes, yeah, he was from, yeah. Yeah, he was from Kenya. Yeah. They were refusing him to, do, to go to primary school. He, he fought and fought. And forth. So films like this, they take part during Johannesburg International Film Festival because they are international. So every you know you know you know film uh, will be part. And then uh, we have got Cape Wine Masters in Cape Town. We have got a lot of vineyards. So there are a lot of uh, wines or wine companies. So they will go there and do wine tasting. You go to Cape Town, it's, 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 it's wine everywhere. There are different, you know, wines, different wines, 
and and so on and so on and so on. So they're, they're main. So I think I have tried to touch everything. Maybe let me pause here. If there are questions, I would be able to take it. But thank you, Sarah, and those who are listening. I hope I try to unpack South Africa to you. It's yes, a country yes. to visit. I must tell you, I did not mention tourism. I did not mention the animals that we are having here. You are Kruka National Park, but I know you read about it. And Sarah, there are people who think when you 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 move from the airport, you will see giraffes and elephants. There is no such. In Johannesburg, it's a city. You can't see. They don't even know lions there. But you come to Limpopo, you will see lion. You will see every animal that you want to see. We we have got a lot of animals here. So allow me to pause and to thank Sarah and everyone who is listening for giving me this opportunity of sharing South African experience. It's a country that you can come and you tour. As you are saying, we must connect with one another. Really, I think one day, I love touring. I went to Lesotho, I went to Botswana, I went to Zimbabwe. So I think I'm coming to Kenya. Next time, I'll be coming to Kenya, eating your, eating your own dishes, and I'm willing to learn Swahili. I must no, what, what I know, in, 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 I think in Swahili, they say unity is called harambe, if I'm not wrong. In Swahili, or, I think they it, say... Yeah, or that? umoja. You can say umoja, yeah, or umoja. Um, yeah, umoja. and uh, harambe, is it harambe correct? Is harambe correct? So harambe, yeah, it, it started with our first president. You can hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I hear so you our first, yes, our first president, uh, that is Jomo Kenyatta, uh, when he was like bringing people together, his slogan was Harambe. He would say Harambe. And then people would say Nyayo. Uh, that <laughs> oh. Nyayo means to follow. No, 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 so you'll say no. Harambe. They say Nyayo. No, no, then I know where it comes from because I, I, I would he hear it from. Uh, artists who are singing like Miriam Makeva, like uh, uh, you are Simenya and Letambule. They are international artists, so they have influence of all of all you know, you know, you know, you know, you know countries. So they would even have songs like Harambe. Thanks very much. Let me pause. Thank you so much. I, yeah, I have a question. I know our guests will have questions. You are breaking, and, uh, Sarah. You are breaking, Sarah. Can you hear Sarah? me now? Yes. What about now? You going? You I can hear you, Sarah. Going now. in and out, Sarah. You're freezing up and then releasing. I was saying, um, yeah. some people who talk and they, you know, it's hmm. there's something when they're talking. There's this, Sarah. You know, you're breaking up, sir. You're still going in and out. <clears throat> All right, she just dropped off. But oh, there she go. You there, Sarah? Uh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Oh, Try I again. Asking, I was asking about those people who talk with the clicking sound. Do you know that? Yeah, then uh, they, they speak and then uh, there's something. They, they do that. Corsa. Yeah, they are the Corsa. They are the Corsa. They are the cossas. They are the cossas usually because I'm from I'm I'm a CPD person. Those cliques, the cossas, uh, Tico and all those, they they have how they oh unless if you are talking about the indigenous you are bushmen, those who are talking with clicking sounds, uh, no, they no, say no. they still exist. Uh, I have heard in movies people people speak and they are like nah, they are speaking and they are putting the nah, nah, when they are speaking. Yeah, they are causas. They are causas. You see, you can see how I'm saying causa, causa, causa. They 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 are nguni tribe. As we are Which the same tribes. That? Come again. Which 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 letter no, is that? that they, the they click. They click. I think somewhere, somehow it's Q, if I'm not wrong. I don't want to lie because it's not my language. I don't want to lie. I will investigate and and, and, and share with okay. you. 
I don't know. I'm a teacher, you know. If I don't know anything, I tell even my learners, hey, let me go and research so that I don't tell them what I will regret ne next time. Uh, it's a, it's a, they are nguni and we are okay. a baby. Yeah, more questions and comments? Yes, I have a question about... Okay. Well, <laughs> question, Go ahead. Well, kind of a question, a comment, I guess more a comment. Um, I have been to South Africa. I've been near to, uh, uh, well, Johannesburg in Durban. And I just wanted to say about uh, going to Durban, what one thing that impressed me that, you know, I don't know if you guys really uh, 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 appreciate it is when I flew into Durban into the airport, the airport is named after King Shaka. And that was very, that was very impressive to see uh, um, an African historical hero um, from our perspective um, in here in America to see the airport named after him, you know, and that was, that was really impressive to see the international airport named King Shaka international airport. So that was, um, that was huge. Um, and just like you say, um, South Africa is very, especially Johannesburg. Well, Durban too, in some respects, um, is very trendy, very modernized. Um, uh, so South Africa is 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 very impressive. So um, uh, and the people there, you know, are beautiful. Uh, so um, yeah, South Africa is, is a place I definitely will visit again. Um, probably many times. Uh, I do have connections in South Africa, so. Um, yeah, it's it's a beautiful place. Well, thank you, Dantala. Renee, do you have a question or a comment? Um, no, I, I do appreciate this so much because uh, I have needed a bridge uh, for a long time to Africa, and um, this is it is very good. I wanted I want to visit South Africa. I have never been to Africa ever. Um, so this is a bridge for me to just begin that journey that way. So thank you. Thank you for allowing me to participate. You're welcome. You're welcome. So I've gone off camera because I've noticed I'm breaking when I'm, when I speak. I hope that's okay. It's okay. So, Sarah. Uh, right. so Mr. Chapape, I think, um, as we were saying before, uh, we, have a group, a global group. Huh? I think we will be, we might be the bridge to Africa <laughs> because how many, Chapapa, remind me, how many countries do we have on board? You oh, know, more than 48, I think. More than 48 yeah. countries. We have, yeah, I think we now we have there, more than 48. Mm -hmm. So, oh, we are I saying think, in Africa. Yeah, in Africa, I think in Africa they oh, wow. they might be more than thirty, right? It's fifty, isn't it? Is it fifty four countries in Africa? No, no, I'm saying the people we no, have I, in I, our I group. Think... We have a, we have, sorry. No, forty eight is for the whole world. I think for Africa it can be around uh, seventeen or eighteen, if not nineteen, or, or around twenty. 17... All right. So we, yeah, Dantala was saying we have a group. Uh, we have a global group, but it's for teachers, and we, we, it's a global platform that oh, we have okay, people from okay. different countries. Okay. Okay. I understand now. Yeah. Here. Oh, awesome. Awesome. So, so at least we, we might the bridge. We might be the bridge, and we are hoping to make more connections as we go forward. And I'm very happy that uh, Mr. Chapapa, you took your time. And at least Dantala loves South Africa. And at least now <laughs> you have met someone. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. I said Swambono, Swambono earlier. Uh, that's a greeting in, in, in Zulu, right? Uh, Mr. Chap, Chapi. Swambono, that's a greeting in Come Zulu. Again. Swambono. Siaubona. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Reading in Zoom. Right? Yes. Okay. Oh, Baba. Baba. Baba means? Papa, father. Ah, Siobona. 
Is it the way yeah. I've written it on the chat? Sorry, I did not see it. Sia Ubona. Okay, Sia Ubona, Baba. Okay. Then how are yeah. you supposed to answer? Yeah. Uh, ooh, because I my Zulu is not that much good. <laughs> uh, I, I, I know Chivenda and uh, Shitsonga. In Shitsonga, when we greet, we, we say Abushini. Abushini. Ah. Abushini. And then in, in Chivenda, Abushini. Eh, or, or Minjani. Abushini or Minjani. That is Shitsonga. And then in oh. Chivenda, the language of the president it's nda nda n d a a nda when you greet and the ladies when they answer they will say ah when you say nda nda it's for generally men nda and the ladies when they will respond they will say ah and usually the vendor women are very much respective. I think in South Africa, they are the ones that are more respecting their men because when they greet, they sleep on the floor. Eh? Okay. They don't bow. Even when they are wearing their expensive clothes, they don't bow. They sleep on the floor to show that they are greeting their husbands or a male figure or any person in the uh, royal community. It's like all vendors, when they greet their king, they kneel down. Wow, I can see that Dantala was smiling there. <laughs> okay. Even, even professors, even professors, yeah. even professors, even professors, when they greet their king, they must go down and lean and they would say, Bamusanda, meaning Royal Highness. Bamusanda. When mm. they greet the king, they say Bamusanda. Okay. So, uh, I, think, I think that one thing I've learned today is that most of us African, we have the same things, just maybe like when you say Abu Sheni, uh, I, there's, there, there's yeah. a culture in Kenya. They greet, they greet people. Their greeting is almost the same. And when you speak, okay. you speak like someone from Luya land. If maybe I'm not Luya, so maybe if I was Luya, okay. <laughs> I would have, I would have known if, um, you know, there, there is a coordination. But and then the Muratina, you know, it's almost. I wanted to share and show you our Muratina, the tree, the you know, the one that um actually in every occasion if. A girl is to get married. It has to be viewed in that in that homestead to make you know. As you are checking, as you are checking, as you are checking, let me. As you are checking, let me share what is thank you because I love it very much. Thank you. Now, thank you, thank you in Shitonga. Okay. okay. Thank you in Shitonga. Thank you in Shitonga. It's. It's inkomu. Inkomu. It's thank you mm -hmm. in Sitonga. Or, or he can see. Or ha can Ha can It means thank you in Sitonga. But in a Chivenda, it's Rolliwua. Rolliwua. In in my mother tongue, Sepedi is Kialewua or Rialewua. That is thank you for you. And uh, lastly, welcome. When they say welcome, I think we need to know this one because thank you and welcome are two important words. Uh, in Chivenda, they are saying, when they say welcome, they are saying, Botanga netwa. And then in Sipediki. Bota. Bota. Botanga netwa. Botanga netwa. Botanga netwa. All right. And their, their word is VHO. 
Gutanganetwa. As as VHV starting with VHO. Oh, okay. And then Sipedi right. is le, le, Sipedi is Le Amoreji. Le Amoreji. Yeah, I think those are the things that, yeah, the language is very important. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, we need to, and when you talk with a language of a person, with the language that the person is speaking, you, you connect with his heart, not with the, only his mind, with the heart. I'm a motivational speaker, or they say I'm a motivational speaker. When I talk to learners, I make sure that if they are Tsonga, I pre do my presentation with a bit of Tsonga. If they are a, a vendor, I mix with vendor and so on and so on. Thanks very much. Wow. Thank you so much. We have learned a lot and I like that, uh, you know, we are going somewhere and now we have a connection to South Africa such that uh, we are coming up with a platform, Message Pape, and uh, we will, if someone wants to learn, we'll be a polyglot uh, kind of a platform. If someone wants to come and learn, uh, <laughs> they can learn because uh, now we have you and I know you know people in South Africa who can be able to come and tutor people who wants to learn the language. And when when you're saying your language, um, it sounds more like also, uh, you know, our languages here, that's why I'm telling you most Bantu languages I've, you know, I've met with people from Rwanda and you have brought them here. Our languages are not far from each other because if maybe, uh, maybe if it's few letters, but I can be able to pronounce it, it's not that hard. And uh, the last one, uh, was it Votange uh, Nezwa? Is that the word? You are breaking now. So I'm saying, uh, let me go off camera so that you can hear me. I'm saying the last the last letter you gave the last word you were giving us was Botanganezo. Or what did you say? Yeah, Botanganezo. Botanganezo. It means welcome. Yeah, I, like it's it sounds very much like like Bantu languages. Kambas usually love the V word, the V. Most of the you know, when they speak, I hear the V. So I'm so happy to have you okay. here. And thank you so much for taking your time and uh, coming here and, you know, teaching us a few words. I don't know, Renee, I would see you try practice. Yeah, <laughs> see me over here trying to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I hope you have learned a few. Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is just the beginning. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Imagine if we had now uh, someone who, is a native and is you know is teaching you the class it would be nice it would be nice than just maybe you know sometimes <laughs> i don't know why sometimes i like learning uh, the when you learn language from the native you live ever you even be able to know a lot about the culture and everything so it's good you're here thank you so much mr chapapa i don't have anything else to add no th because thanks I thanks very much sarah and uh, all those who were listening I hope I I, 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 I I shared the experience of South Africa. Thanks very much, Sarah. Yes, you did. We have we had the best experience over here. I don't know, maybe Dan Tala had a call to pick. I saw him go off camera. But thank you so much. I know you're in the car and you have to take your time off. You know, maybe you, are, you want to hit the road and go somewhere. I appreciate your time. No, I'm always available, Sarah, if I'm needed. I I I I was supposed to be at a tournament soccer tournament i must give awards there but i think from now i will i will go there because i felt maybe the reception there might not be good so i'm going there but i can multitask as a teacher and okay. principal i can be able to multitask all right thank you so much and uh, if you need to leave you can leave thank you i appreciate yeah. we will we will we will talk with yeah. you about I will, our I will, other I will, stuff i will leave I will leave and I would be happy if you can share the, the recording so that I can review what I said. Every time yes, I talk, I want that. to listen. Thanks very much, yes. Sarah. And uh, goodbye, right. everyone. I'm willing to learn Swahili next time. Yes, I will teach you. I'm here. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> Sarah, thanks very much. All bye, right. bye. 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 Everyone. Bye. So, Rene, um, I wanted to like uh, do a quick check-in and, and see have you even done the greetings? Uh, how far are you? Because 
I this is I literally my first uh, class. So I have not done any of the greetings. Okay, so we 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 had gone <laughs> we had gone so we, we had gone um let me show you. We, I think we had done a lot, but are there so recordings? Much. Not I can listen you. To? Yeah, yeah, but you see these are some of the basics. Let me just share my screen. Okay. Yeah. These are some well, of Sarah, the basics. We can, we, we can go we can go back. It's it's just it's um Renee, you and I, Curtis is probably performing right now, so we can go over the the greetings and that's fine. I'm good with that. Okay, you okay? Let me go to that slide because this was a different slide. And um, right now I know your pronunciation will be so good. <laughs> that is the uh, Dantala, right? <laughs> Dio, Dio. <laughs> okay, so I have to fetch uh, fetch that slide. Okay, I think I got it. So let me share. I hope you you're not in a hurry, Rene. We can maybe review this for like uh, the next ten minutes. Yeah, no, I'm we fine. Almost I'm taking just... an hour. Sorry. I'm 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 fine. I'm just uh I was cleaning and preparing uh to we're cooking out today so. Okay. These are the this is where we started. Dantara, you remember? <laughs> Yeah, saying the yeah. good mornings and the hello okay so dantala you can try now you, mm -hmm. you read for us what's good morning okay uh abari za uh and then the answer mm -hmm. habari habari okay za... asubuhi asubuhi Yes, habari za asubuhi. Habari za asaburi. Asubuhi. Asubuhi. Oh, okay. Asubuhi. The I, the uh, I is always an E in African languages. Oh, yeah. Yes, Say that one more time? Here, the I is always an E in African languages. Okay. So here in America, when we see I, we don't, we say I, I, or... Mm. But in African language, I is an E. E, yes. Okay. So, habari za asaburi. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, and uh, I, I'm, I don't know if you can see my screen. I'm trying to show yes. you how many syllables are there. So, it's habari za. So, we have to hear every syllable. Asubuhi. Like that. Habari so, habari za asubuhi. Asabuhi. Okay. I know Jumbo. Yes. I heard that in a song, one of my songs. <laughs> Jumbo Buana. Yes. <laughs> yes, Jumbo. Jumbo Buana. I know it's a famous song. You know? Yeah, I love that song. <laughs> it's really interesting. Yes. Okay. So Jumbo is like saying hello. But mm -hmm. what I told, what, what I was uh, telling Dantala and the rest is that we barely use that in Kenya. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. That is the funniest thing. So when you tell someone Jumbo, they already know. Oh, do you live in? Do you live here? Because <laughs> <laughs> so mostly you will find people. Um, let me write it for you. You will find people use this. It's a slang, but uh, even when you go to a shop, you are buying something, and mm -hmm. you just want to use Swahili. You hear people say Sasa. Sasa. Okay. Yes. So you say Sasa, and then the person will, uh, you know, casually tell you Poa. Poa. Yes. So Dantala, Sasa? Okay. Sasa. Poa. Uh -huh. Poa. Poa. Yeah. Poa. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, even, you know, even if you are trying to buy something, mm -hmm. you know, they will sell it like you're local, but you go with Jumbo. They're like, oh, you and they were like Jumbo, Karibu Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> so, though it's good to know, it's Jumbo means hi. It's just a formal way of saying hello or hi. Okay. So, Jumbo, Jumbo. Although there are some people you tell Jumbo, they can say Jemma, but it's Jumbo, Jumbo. Habari, someone who also say, you can greet someone Habari and they also say Habari, but the mm -hmm. right answer should be 
njema. njema. So we when we say asubuhi or when we are saying like good morning we want to be specific but we don't want to be specific whether it's morning you know uh, afternoon or evening you just say habari jambo okay. Okay. Or, you know when you're not casual you just say sasa like that so you can try now say the greetings on your own try say good morning habari okay wait habari za asubuhi Awesome. How do you greet someone back if they told you? In Jama? Nje, nje. In Nje? In, 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 in Jema? Yes, in Jema. Yes. <laughs> so do, Jema, do I pronounce or, or, the in? It, it has to, yeah, it has to be Njema. Yes. Njema. Okay. 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 Yeah. Even in Zuri, I have to hear Nzuri. Nzuri. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So moving forward, um, let me see how to go next. So the next one was uh, when now you are you are greeting someone. It's one person, and uh, let me try rub this so that it doesn't confuse you. So you are. Greeting once one person. So Dantala, do you remember this one? This now is, you know, if you even go to Tanzania, you greet people like this and you'll be okay. Right. U Ujambo. Mm-hmm. They will answer. She jumbo. Yeah. So these are the people who use you see, like the, the uh Tanzanian use a little bit different Swahili than us, but also when we teach in school. We teach them this one. Okay. You know, yes, we, we will tell you habari za subui, but instead of me telling you jumbo or, you know, mm -hmm. the habari, so mm -hmm. mostly you'll find when when maybe I'm teaching Swahili and I found a friend student in class, maybe I'll tell them if it's one person who jumbo and they'll who tell jumbo. me si jumbo. Si yes, jumbo. but you add who to mean one person who jumbo. Ah, who jumbo. Okay. Then instead of them just telling you jumbo, they say si jumbo. jumbo. So mm -hmm. when there are many, every time I enter class, I mostly use this one. <laughs> so I'll be telling them ham jumbo, or I can say ham jumbo ni. I can put the near the end or not. Mm -hmm. Ah, ham okay. Ham jumbo. You can try say ham jumbo. Ham jumbo. Mm -hmm. And then. If it's me and Dantala, we'll tell you how to jumbo. How to jumbo. So try greet us. Ham jumbo. How to jumbo. Dantala, you can answer. Um. How to jumbo. We are here when greeting yeah, many how, people. How to jumbo. Yes. So mostly, um, I think th this is my signature greeting to my student. <laughs> Ham jumbo. Okay. They will be like, how to jumbo. How to jumbo. Yeah, well, there are many, yes. Okay. So it's just the jumbo part, like the, the one you hear in song, but mm -hmm. now to put, is it specificity or sp being specific? So we put the ham or the who when it's one, but we add ham when there are many. Okay, okay. Yeah, and when uh, when greeting back, someone tells you who jumbo, you say see jumbo. When it's jumbo. you are many, you just say how to jumbo. How to jumbo. So, okay. if you want to greet someone specifically, you know, I can say who jumbo Rene. Ah, okay, okay. So you can answer me who jumbo. Oh, Rene. See jumbo. See jumbo. Ham jumbo Rene and Dantala. How to jumbo. Hat jumbo. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> because I, I, I greeted both of you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I have shown you how yes, I've shown you here how many syllables are there. Down here. Ha -m jumbo. So you can always say ham jamboni, but if the knee is, you know, so -jumbo. much work, just say ham jumbo. Ha to jumbo. Okay. So Sarah, you said you uh you teach in the educational system, correct? 
Yes. Uh, you elementary, secondary, what? Which levels? So I teach a uh, secondary school. Okay. And but what? now because you know because I've done I teach that I, I can teach anyone else below because. Just that I've done high level, I can teach the beginner like I'm doing now. I can teach intermediate and uh, advanced. So you teach um, for us that would be middle school. Is that for you? Right, what whatever I'm teaching you right now. No, I'm just talking about your profession. Teaching... I'm talking about oh, your my profession. profession. You teach... Yeah, you teach in a, in the school system. Yes, in high school. Oh, you teach high school. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The teenagers. I do. I'm praying yes, yes, for yes. you. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but but they do a bit advanced thing than the one I teach. Yeah. Awesome. You're, uh, awesome. you're praying for me, Renee. <laughs> Sometimes yes. it can be good. <laughs> I have two teenagers in the house right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when uh, uh, you know. When you become their friends, we we some we are best friends with some, but there are times we we are not, mm -hmm. we, we don't see eye to eye. Right, right, <laughs> right. That's it. That's how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So uh, let's try another one, another slide. Yeah. At least you've gotten that one. Those are the basic greetings, and at least Dantala, you're reminding yourself. So, um, we are here. I okay. hope Dantala can remember. Now you don't want just to tell someone hi. Mm -hmm. You know, so you won't tell someone, how are you? <laughs> yeah, okay. you like to tell someone. Oh, Holly Gun. Yes, Ooh, Holly Gun. Yeah, awesome. Oh, Holly Gun. Yes, oh, yeah, you are coming out so natural, Rene. Yes, oh, Holly Gun. By the way, the lucky, the lucky thing with Swahili is most of the greetings is just Njema or Zuri. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Except for those ones that we had to say how to jumbo or see jumbo. Except for that one. In in Gemma translates to fine or yes and good. Oh, okay. Fine. Okay. In Gemma. Yes. yes. So Uhaligani uh, down there. I've shown you how many syllables are there in the slide. Uhaligani. Uhaligani. Yes. So Ujema. an alternative of saying Uhaligani, you can ask someone Habarigani. Habari Gani. Yes, you see, you hear it's also about Habari. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, there again. As I was telling Dantala and the rest in class, I don't know, when we say Habari, it means news. So it's like when uh, when Africans were meeting each other here, and especially the Swahili people, they would ask someone, do you have news? Yeah. Uh, and maybe someone would be like, yeah, it's good news. It's good. Or any news? Good. <laughs> because sometimes it sounds like that. And you're asking someone, how about Igani? Like, what news? And they're like, good. Okay. Or something. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, you can say how about so, so it translates to what's the news or what? Right. What's up? What's going on? Mm, yeah. What's up? It's like, what's up? What news? Right. It's so like, what's that. up? Yeah. Like, here we say, what's up? Yeah. 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 <laughs> because what, sometimes you'll hear someone also, the, the name Habari, you'll hear someone say, Habari. You know, Habari is a journey meaning news for evening news in mm -hmm. the TV. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. <laughs> and you see, I will also greet you, Habari is a journey. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. So you can also uh, ask someone, Habari is a kwako. Kwako means you, you know, what news do you have in your house or something? You know, what mm. news you you have? Habari is a kwako. Habari is a kwako. Yes, Habari Zakwako. Habari Zakwako. Yes. So you can you, you can decide to take one of those. I don't know which one will be easier for you when you are to ask someone, how are you? Hibari Gani. Ah, okay. <laughs> Dantara, which one is usually yours? Which one do you choose from here? Um, Hubali Gani, that's that one's good. And Hubali, uh, Habari, Ga Habari Gani, or Hubali, who Habari, who Hali ba Gani, who Hali, ba who Hali, ba Hali. Ba Gani. <laughs> I thought you love Hali Gani, Dantala. <laughs> mm. Hali Gani, okay. So remember, Renee, 
Hey, uh, what I should tell you is that as as we're going slide to slide, make sure you remember what we did because I will tell you to tell someone hello. Mm -hmm. How are you? Okay. And at least, and that that will be the Antala, and the will tell you if you're doing well or not. <laughs> Because <laughs> because now he 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 is he is my helping teacher now that he has gone through this. <laughs> uh, so telling someone goodbye is easy. You just say kwaheri. Kwaheri. Yes, that means goodbye. Kwaheri. Yeah. If you want to tell someone thank you, you say asante. Yeah, that's my son's name. <laughs> wow. Yes, asante. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so you hear, you see, this one is easy. So I would like you to try. Choose one to say hello to Dantala. Hello, how are you? Uhaligani. Rene, sorry. I want you to start with the hello. Which one do you want to use? Hello. Hello. Uh, that was the first one. Hold on. <laughs> the, you can even use the one you know in the song. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Jumbo. <laughs> so you must mention Dantala's name so that you know your greeting. Ah, okay. Jumbo Dantala. Who are Rene? How are you? Go ahead. Ah, okay. In, in Gemma. I want you now to say, how are you? Wait, which one is that? Uh, Uhali? Uhali Ghani? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. in, in <laughs> Good job. Tell, tell him how, goodbye. How's he doing? Uh, uh, Quari. Qua? Quari. Yeah. Qua, wait. Quaheri. Quaheri. My, Qua. my tongue is heavy with that with the heady. The head, okay. My head in the name. Uh huh. My head in the name. I forgot. Thank you. Can I just say Kwaheri Dantala? Dantala, <laughs> <laughs> remind how? How do you, how does she say thank you? <laughs> it's a Santi. This thing. Oh, okay. I forgot that one. Okay, a Santi. Caribou. <laughs> Asante Caribo. No, no. Asante is Asante? thank you. Oh, okay. I responded Quari, Quari. Caribo, which is well. You well, welcome. You're welcome. Okay. 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 I'm going to get it. <laughs> no, you got it. You, you don't. You have tried so much. Like, I'm proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, I didn't show you these. And last time, they, they, you know, the last class, they had a chance to see this when I was saying, let's practice. You know, I've just removed the slide and I'm like, go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So you have done well because um, at least you have used, uh, you have used Jumbo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these oh, are, okay, so these there are we practices, go. but at least right now you, are, you, you, are, you have understood this one and you have said Uhaligani. Uhali, uh, Uhaligani. Yes, meaning how are you? And then it's in German. So this is uh I want to add one one more slide before I leave. I'll be leaving the next few. Uh today I had an hour and some few minutes of the hour. I am off the country, Dantala. That's why my internet is going, you know. <laughs> okay. Like so, I, I'm I'm hour, hour. Yeah, I'm in somewhere, I'm in my village, somewhere far. Ah, okay. Yeah. So this is how you introduce yourself, Renee, to someone. At least now you know how to say hello. Yes. Jumbo. So if it's Jumbo, then you can have to say Jinalangu. You put your name. Jinalangu, Jinalangu. Renee. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> then you can uh you can ask the other person who will be Dantala. You can ask okay. them, how are you? You are like, hello, my name is how are you? You get okay, so it'll be Jumbo, Jinalangu, Rene, mm -hmm. Uhaligani. At least now you know the Uhaligani, yes. Mm -hmm. So, this is what you will do. I know here I had written Malimu and student, but now it will be Rene and Antala. <laughs> so, when okay. you're saying hello, 
you mm -hmm. will say hello and then dantala will uh, will say hello back okay uh, you will say your name uh, you say my name is rene and then you have to wait for dantala to also tell tell you his name okay and then uh you will ask him how are you okay okay and at least right. you will wait for him to say how he is yes <laughs> and at least you'll say, you i know it's not here but 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 just add and tell him you know goodbye and thank you <laughs> Okay. Okay. Can you uh, remember goodbye? Goodbye is. Goodbye is. Uh. Kwa. Kwa. Eri. Eri. Yes, kwa heri. Kwa heri. Oh, thank you. Asante. Right. Awesome. So start us off. You can start. Jambo. Kwa. Gina Langu, Renee. Uh, Gina Langu, Dantala. Uhaligani. Njuri. So it's now good goodbye. Oh, okay. Kwaheri. Kwaheri. Thank you. Asante. Karibu. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> She's a fast learner, Dantala, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. So I hope you remember where we, you know, where we left. Dantala. <laughs> that means a uh, good job. Good one. <laughs> Asante. <laughs> <laughs> so Dantala, because uh, you had to practice your class with Renee, I will send you, I think I, I, I will email you, uh, I will send you directly on Discord, a Word document. Uh, with the, we Remember we did ban last time? Mm -hmm. And then I will send you a lot of words with cha. And then you, you just pronounce on your, on your own. So that when we meet next, you know, we don't have to go through that. I'll give you a phrase to read. I hope you'll be ready to do that. Yes. Oh, this is exciting. Thank you. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Seriously, I am. <laughs> awesome. So, so Rene, uh, we did sounds. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, we will see how we will support it because most most of the other people are ahead of you. You have to do sounds, and I have to teach you how to pronounce some of the sounds. Okay. And after we do sounds, I have to show you how to pronounce the syllables. Ah, okay. okay. So that you get to where Dantala is. Okay. Because Dantala, most of the things we did there, it's it's more of uh, introduction and how you know how you can get along and how you tell someone you know I'm pleased to meet you. Right. Because at least we believe, you know, when you know such things even before you know you get to learn the language, it helps you. Even when you're getting there, right now, uh, Dantala can speak, can be able to meet someone, yeah. introduce mm -hmm. himself, <laughs> and at mm -hmm. least tell him. And, uh, you know, up to there, but we'll go on next time. <laughs> right. And, Renee, and I hope I was, you too. I've been, if, if you I was, mean... I've been learning Swahili over some time, so I do I do know a lot of vocabulary, but, I, you know, there's some, a lot I don't know, but I know enough to to greet um, uh, and, and things like that. So, um, okay. Yeah. I'm going to practice this. I'm going to. So I'm you're gonna... welcome. Yeah. And I will I don't know if you are in our Discord. Are you in our Discord? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think I'll I will also tell Katya to send you the slides you have done before. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that we see how we can support you from there. So thank you so much, Dantala. Do you have a question for me today? Um do I have any questions for you today? Um no, but um, I may be visiting Kenya probably late this year, early next year. Okay. I'll be here. Right. <laughs> I'll, right. I'll be here waiting for you. Yes, yes. Just, just make sure you tell me. All right. All right. Okay. All so right. thank you so much, Dantala. You're very consistent. 
you know, uh, if you know the, the student that will give the stars, <laughs> right, right. Give the stars. <laughs> yeah, okay. because you are trying a lot and you're consistent. I love you having, I hope you're having, you know, you're having fun meeting our different guests every time. Yes, yeah, deal, deal. Yeah, it's been good. Um, it's been good. I think this is great to, for the diaspora to connect and um for us to understand we can make the Swahili the international language is supposed to be for the African di diaspora. All right. Yeah. So thank you so much, guys. I want to let thank you go. You. Uh there was a celebration back uh where I was. I had to come to my auntie, so I want to go back. Yeah, uh, okay, yes, enjoy. Be careful, be safe. Thank yes. you. No, we'll, 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 we'll meet every, you. is it every Saturday? Yeah, every Saturday at, at yes. 10. Perfect. Yes, same time. Okay, I will be All there. Right. Okay. All right, bye. Bye, Eddie. 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 Bye, Eddie.